In this project we'll be creating this large school of stripy fish. The project is quite simple and would be ideal as a classroom project or a family activity. So let's get into it. First we tint the surface of the canvas with phthalo blue. This canvas is a 610 by 1220 centimeter canvas and any materials used and the full lesson plan are in the accompanying PDF. Let that coat dry and then we apply a thin coat of acrylic retarder over the surface with a hog bristle brush. What this will do is slow down the acrylic paint's drying rate allowing us to blend colours together smoothly. We can then lay our colours over the top of the retarder and create nice transitions between all the colours. It's best to use a fairly stiff brush to do this. In this case a 50mm abstract expression brush is used. Keep the brush moving quickly and blend the darker colours into the lighter tones. Lay different colours up next to each other and then bring the edges together. To create more interest in the coat allow some of the dark underpainting to show through in areas and blend in darker bands across the lighter areas of colour. Use lighter colours at the top of the canvas and darker tones nearer the bottom of the canvas. Allow this coat to become touch dry before the next step. You can find this outline of where the fish lie in the PDF. To draw up the fish I'm using a white crayon for the dark areas and a black crayon for any lighter areas. Crayons contain wax so they can create a resist but I have found that if the line work is fully covered with an even coat of paint there is generally no problems with acrylic paint adhering to it as the crayon does not lie in the hollows of the canvas. Next we fill in each fish silhouette with silver paint. We use the silver paint for a couple of reasons. The first is that it's quite opaque so it covers the blue underpainting quite well and the other benefit is that it has a reflective quality to it so the fish seem to shimmer. In this case we are using it as a kind of gesso that we'll be painting over. Once all of the fish are filled in it's a simple process of applying three colours over each fish and then a little detailing with white. The first colour is light blue painted into the underside of the fish. Following this is yellow on the top side then the black stripes and eyes can be put in. It's then an easy job just to repeat these steps for all the other fish. White is the last tone to put on. This goes in around the eye, along the gills and a little dash to suggest the side fin. Well thanks for watching, hope you have picked up something you can use with your art and we'll see you next time.